everybody, it's Annalise. Uh, so today is my last Saturday in Dublin, which is uh, crazy. Um, this won't be my very last video because I'm going to um, Belfast and Giants Causeway tomorrow, so I want that to be like a separate thing. Um, but this week did have a lot packed into it. Um, it was my second week of exams for UCD, and I had three of them, two on Wednesday and then one this morning. I'm so glad to be done. Um, I think they all went really well. I mean, knock on wood, but I felt very good um, taking all of them. So that's a relief. Um, so done with my sophomore year, halfway through college. Um, it's very exciting. Uh, but this whole week was really fun. Um, I still managed to do a decent amount of stuff even while like trying to study. Um, so it started on Sunday, my friend Grace and I went to Sligo, which is a town in like the um, northwest of Ireland. It's like on the coast um, of the Atlantic and it's like pretty close to the border with Northern Ireland. And so that was really fun because that was Grace's first time on the west coast. I've been to the cliffs of Mower, but um, we really wanted to get out there one more time. And the train system here is so easy. It was like 10 euro um, to get clear across the other side of the country um, really quickly. A very nice train, just a very good system. Uh, so we got out there and toured uh, Sligo Abbey, which is a really cool um, abbey that they've managed to preserve pretty well. Um, and it's just really pretty right in Sligo town. Uh, and while we were there, there were these, um, like, tombs that the top of had been, like, split in half. And we were joking, like, oh, it looks like someone, like, crawled out and it reminded us of Dracula. And then we walk, like, 30 more paces to um, a sign talking about the Abbey. And turns out Sligo did help inspire Dracula <laughs> because um, Bram Stoker, the author of Dracula, his mom lived in Sligo for a little bit, um during a cholera epidemic that was really terrible. Sligo was affected more than any other town in Britain or Ireland um, during the epidemic and it just sounded horrifying. And apparently she would tell those stories to her kids, like his bedtime stories. Um, so Bram Stoker like grew up hearing about it and I guess that inspired um, maybe the idea of the undead because uh, unfortunately they thought that it would help prevent the spread of cholera if they buried people with it. Um, before they'd even died. Fortunately, cholera spread through water, so that didn't um, stop any transmission. It was just really awful. But um, So that was really interesting to learn about. We had no idea we were going to learn anything about Dracula while we were there. Um, and that was cool. And then uh, we went... Ew, oh, and there are a lot of um, murals and statues around the town um, for the Yates family, because W.B. Yates and his... Um, family because like his brother was an artist, his uh, niece, like he wasn't the only um, famous person in the family, but they're from Sligo and so there were a lot of uh, things dedicated to them which was cool. And then we took, it was just a short bus ride out to um, much closer to the coast where we did uh, a trail called Queen Maeve's Trail because Queen Maeve's Cairn or like um, tomb is a little strong of a word, but um, like monument to her um, death is up there. And it was a really, really beautiful hike, but very strenuous. Um, I think by the end of the trail, Grace's Apple Watch said we'd climbed 87 flights, which for comparison, when we walked up the Eiffel Tower over spring break, and then also climbed a few other hills around Paris, that was 66 flights. So this was quite a bit um, but it was so worth it for the views. It was incredible. Um, and it was such a perfect day while we were there. We got so lucky. Um, and so Queen Mary's Cairn is this ginormous pile of, um, rocks that is, I don't know if it specifically has been around for exactly 5,000 years, but the style of tomb has been. It might have only been like 4,500 or something, I don't know. But, uh, the style is incredibly old and Neolithic. And it was just really cool because she's, um, obviously what's true and what's more legendary about her, um, has been mixed up a little bit, so it's hard to know for sure, but she sounds like a very, very cool, uh, queen. She was queen of Connacht, which is, like, um, the western province of Ireland for, like, 60 years, and, um, 
just sounded very interesting if the stories about her are to be believed. Um, but that was incredible. I'm so glad we got to do that. It was such a beautiful hike. Um, and then we're just back in um, Dublin um, by the night since the trains are so um, easy to catch and, you know, they run several times a day. Uh, so that was awesome way to spend Sunday. Um, and then Monday afternoon, Grace and I went to Dunleary, which is this adorable, like, seaside suburb of Dublin. And uh, I hadn't been yet, which uh, it's really not far, maybe 25 minutes by bus from UCD. And uh, it's just so pretty. Like, all the coastal areas are, but um, this maybe was just the perfect weather for it, but the water was so blue, the rocks were really pretty, and we went because Grace wanted to swim at 40 foot, which is like the swimming hole that uh, I did not want to get in because the water was absolutely freezing. So I just admired the view from afar because it's like this beautiful setting. Um, but we, we had a lot of fun. We were a little scared at points because there were a few guys um, ignoring all the signs that said, please do not dive into the water because there are so many rocks you can't see under the surface and they kept doing it but you know everyone was fine so we we're glad we didn't like accidentally witness some terrible um accident but uh we had a great time got some 99s on the way back which are like soft serve vanilla ice cream cones with um a flake bar inside and uh so it was just a very like tranquil way to spend a monday afternoon and then Tuesday was just studying, it was Wednesday's exams. Thursday, um, Grace and I went to uh, Mass at Donnybrook Parish Church, which is like a 20 minute walk from campus maybe. Um, maybe closer to 30, um, depending on where on campus. But uh, we just wanted to go like to Mass at some point in Ireland and accidentally like, thought we might have made a pretty bad mistake because when we got there, uh, we are like, oh no, is there a funeral going on? Like, it doesn't say so on the program, but, you know, all these people, it turned out it was a memorial because it had been two years since, um, someone's passing, so, like, their family were there, and, um, one of their relatives, like, was the priest. Like, it was a special mass, but it was still just a normal mass. But at one point, before it started, um, this elderly man leaned over to us and was like, are you guys here for a funeral? And we are like, no, just a mass. And he was like, okay, as long as I'm not the only one. Um, but uh, it was perfectly nice, you know, we just sat like further towards the back, but it was a beautiful church, like such a stunning um, church. The stained glass is so vivid and um, just really pretty on the outside. So that was really fun. And then Thursday night, we uh, went out with a few of um, one of my friends studies computer science, and so it was with uh, a lot of people she knows from classes. And I'd met a few of the guys um, close to the start of the semester, just at the student pub, but it was fun to like meet new people and to see everyone again. And uh, we started out at Weatherspoons, which is pretty like a pretty classic chain of pubs, but somehow we'd never been to, but it was so cheap. Usually it's like at least three euro for me to get a Pepsi or a Coke that's like this tiny little bottle. Um, but at Weatherspoons it was 2.30 for like half a liter of Pepsi, it was fantastic. Um, and then we went to uh, a club called The George because there was like a drag show going on that we thought would be fun to see, it was pretty fun to see, um, but the music wasn't that great afterwards so we just went to another um, place that we've been before. So that was uh, just a fun thing to check off, like they say it's a pretty classic um, uh, club to go to. to experience some of the Dublin nightlife so that was fun um and then Friday Grace and I went to uh Kilmainham jail which is the prison uh that's housed tons of political prisoners in Ireland from 1796 to 1924 and so that includes being the place that all of the leaders of the Easter Rising were executed and so obviously it's like a somber tour because it's you know the prison has held so many people um, and a lot of them were just for crime, like during the Great Famine, um, they, the English outlawed begging, and so thousands of people were thrown into prison, including like children. They said the youngest person ever in the prison was three years old. Um, and so it was, you know, a very like serious place, like it's a national monument. Um, but it was very interesting to learn about uh, a lot more of the history of 
specifically the Easter Rising and then the Irish War of Independence and then the Civil War since the jail was used um, during all of those periods and uh, just very interesting to hear about how the Easter Rising really like catapulted um, Ireland into independence even though it itself failed and like all the leaders were executed but um, yeah so that was really interesting I'm very glad we got to do that that tour sells out like three weeks in advance so um, we bought tickets a long time ago um, and then I think that's been it and I took my last exam this morning went um, hopefully very well at least I felt really good about it uh, that was differential equation so I was pretty nervous but I think I think my professor was nice with the questions he didn't ask anything um, too insane or like that we hadn't spent a lot of time covering so yeah this was a really great week I hope everyone else has also been having a great time I'm pretty sad to be leaving Ireland I need to start packing this afternoon I just haven't had time with studying but that's gonna be quite the undertaking I've gotten so many souvenirs and stuff um, so it'll be hard to fit everything in my bags but I've absolutely loved it here so far. Like I said, I'll have one more um, video because we're doing a fun, like dark side of Dublin tour tonight. It's supposed to be like a ghost tour basically. And then yeah, tomorrow Belfast and then Monday, like catching up on everything we wanna make sure we do around Dublin, getting COVID tested to come back. And yes, it's been a pretty big week. We'll be a big next few days. Um, yeah, I hope everyone's doing great and thanks for watching.